Good morning. <laughs> We've just woken up. I know it's really late, um, but we are going to get ourselves ready for getting on the road today. Today is our first journey <laughs> in, in Hank um, on day one of the pub tour, Hank and Marvin's pub tour. Um, we're going to a pub uh, called the Griffin in Papawick. And I'm really excited and um, I'm still sleepy from last night. But um, yeah, we're really excited. It's day one of the tour. Woohoo! <laughs> hey folks, uh, I just thought I'd let you know, I've just started on my first day of the tour. I've got to my first pub and they've got no idea who I am. Uh, basically, two weeks ago, the um, when I did my phone calls, a few days after that, they've changed hands. So I've just walked in going, hi, I'm Rebecca. And they're like, uh, who's Rebecca? And I've just had to go through my whole rigmarole of who I am, what I do, and why I'm here. And luckily enough for me, they are being so accommodating, so fantastic. So I'm still going to get to film my first pub. Number one on my list, I'm in Papawick in Nottinghamshire. And I'm really excited of what tonight's going to bring. Watch this space. <laughs> Hey all, um, I thought I'd let you know how our first night, uh, well our first day has been at the Griffin's Head. Oh my gosh, I've had such a wonderful evening. This has probably set the benchmark really high when it comes to um, pubs. I mean, to say the fact that they didn't even know I was coming, um, they didn't know I was coming. They know nothing about it because the previous owner hadn't passed on the details that I was gonna be coming along today. Um, they were so hospitable towards me. The food was great. The location's amazing. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go see the Abbey, walk around the lakes. We're going to go on the Libsby, I think it's, walk. And, um, yeah, Marvin's had a wonderful time. She's been fussed by a few people. Not many, of course, because of what's going on. But um, it's been brilliant. Really, really enjoyed myself. I've tried some new ales. <laughs> Come and say hello, Marvin. Just Marvin. Mm -hmm. She's been such a good girl. We've been chilling out. And uh, yeah, it's time to reflect and go to bed now, I think. Ready for tomorrow's walk. We're going to have a big walk tomorrow, won't we? Me and you, we'll go around the lake. We're going to go and see the Abbey. And it's going to be great fun. See you, <laughs> see you in the morning. <laughs> Hey all, day two, we've just arrived at the Oak, Oak, Oak Over Arms in uh, Derbyshire and I've got some geese behind me and there's another motorhome, there's Hank over there and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to tonight's food. I've not had a chance to have a look at the menu yet but um, it's all good stuff. Marvin's just chilling out, He's, she's pulling me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll let you know how late, uh, later on goes. <laughs> Afternoon, folks. Um, I have pulled in to, I think I'm in Ashford. Um, I've had to pull into a pub car park. There's nobody in at the pub. The pub is closed. But I've had to pull in to let my brakes cool down because I've just gone down a 15% gradient and of course you put your foot on your brake to make sure that you're you're steady and oh my gosh my my wheels well my um my brakes were smoking <laughs> so I'm gonna let them cool down um I'm only I'm literally nine miles away from my stopover tonight but I'm gonna let them cool down um I'm just gonna let them cool down on their own um hopefully uh <laughs> It's going in for its MOT tomorrow, so I might have to say to him, give me some new brake pads. Um, it may have warped the discs, I don't know, but um, uh, yeah, I'm, um, <laughs> I was absolutely screaming out the window. Marvin was all nervous. I was incredibly nervous, but I'm still in one piece. <laughs> it's, only, it's only day three, and good God... <laughs> Who knows what this tour is going to bring, but um, yeah, 
there you go i'm just gonna have to wait now until they call a little bit and then i'll be on the road so i'll let you know when i get there <laughs> if i'm in one piece <laughs> Hey folks, I um, just thought I'd do an update on day four. I've got to the uh, this little campsite that I'm staying on for the next few days and um, the, sh the, the lady who runs it did say that it was a little bit wet. <laughs> she said she's had to tow two caravans out already. Um, so I said, well, I've got, uh, I've got these racks that go underneath my wheels, so I'll try the racks. And lo and behold, I've got stuck. <laughs> it's just never ending. I uh, went to the MOT place today and um, they've let me down. So uh, the woman said that their roll-in road or something, their lift uh, to get Hank up wasn't working correctly. So they needed to get, um, they needed to put it on uh, in another, I can't, into another shop just down the road. Well, the problem was, is they phoned him up and said, have you got room? And they said, no, we can't do it today. And I just felt like saying, you know, I've traveled all this way. And the fact that you didn't book it in with them when I booked it in with you. Uh, so I'm really annoyed by that. Went down to another couple of places, couldn't get in. But considering I had the issue with my brakes, uh, the gentleman at one of these garages said, look, do you want me to get in it and drive it for you? I said, yes, please. So we got in it and he was driving it. I'm sat in the back. He's going round this roundabout, ragging Hank round this roundabout. I was just pissing myself laughing but also scared at the same time and he said there's nothing wrong with your brakes your brakes are good uh there's no wear sounds that i'm worried about i'm just really concerned now i've probably overheated my engine and but yeah the funny thing is is i've just got the the, the husband of the guy coming now to help me get out so i'll let you know how it goes we're just waiting now uh for the guy to come because he's gonna He's going to tow us. <laughs> Say hello to Marvin. Hey, Marvin. What are you doing, beautiful? Is it really? You've been stuck in that box most of today, haven't you? Yeah, you want to get out for a nice walk. Should we have a nice walk down the road once we get out with Hank? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? <laughs> You've got to laugh. I have to laugh at everything. Otherwise, I'm just going to go crazy. It's like day four and I'm stuck. <laughs> You're looking at the horses. Horses. Nay. Nay. That's what they do. <laughs> oh. Do you know, for the first, for considering I'm only on day four of the tour, we've had crazy days, haven't we? We really have had crazy days. <laughs> I need to get a dash cam set up properly so that I can, um, so I can film the interior because we do talk a lot. So it would be nice to get some footage of us. Yeah, I know exactly. Marvin wants Mar Marvin likes to talk. Don't you, Marvin? You like to talk? They're gonna get the big, the big rig to pull us out. <laughs> oh gosh, this is so funny. What do you reckon, Marvin? What do you reckon? What are you saying? What do you think? You're just chewing. Do you want some dinner? You've not eaten much today. She hasn't. I think um, today's been a little bit of a stressful one because it has been chucking it down with rain. So we didn't get a chance to go out. Which I'm a bit gutter that. I'm wondering if this is it. I can hear. What sounds like a tractor? It's coming. Oh my gosh! I got. It's a. It's like a forklift. It's like a forklift truck. <laughs> Let me show you. 
Morning all, it's day five and today I've had to get the farmer guy to come and pull me back onto my chocks because I had no gas last night coming to my hob, coming to my water heater. So I wasn't able to have a shower. Um, I wasn't able to have any coffee, but he's pulled me back. We're on. I'm level and now woohoo the kettle is now boiling um, I'm gonna have the most amazing shower in a minute I am uploading stuff as we speak to start editing didn't realize that I had um, captured so much like so much um, which you know is fine it's fine I'm fine with that it's just gonna take time uh, I'm struggling with my final upload for the ye old bowling green, but um, I don't know why. I think I'll, I'll, it might be that I'm going to be a few a few days behind each time. So we'll see. But as for today, it's upload, it's coffee, it's shower, and it's walk time with Marvin. And I'll let you guys know how I am and what disasters will unfold later today. Hey folks, so I've decided I needed to wash some of my smalls and um, I've got my little washing machine going. It's making a right racket. It's not doing too bad. I was thinking about putting a t-shirt in but then um, looking at it I thought no it's probably best just to do a little bit at a time so whilst I'm on site uh, I'm just going to take advantage and try and wash a couple of t-shirts one at a time and see how it goes but then I'm going to dry it <laughs> I'm loving it so far this is so funny just trying to work out how you do everything so um yeah we'll see how this goes hey folks <laughs> I'm still on day five and I thought I would let you know on what's going on with me today. I am struggling massively with upload speeds. Um, I've just got all my footage from day one up onto my software and I'm uploading from Dropbox and I'm still only halfway through and I've been doing it since nine o'clock this morning. So I need to re really think about what I can do. Um, I mean, it might mean that I just have to go through my phone specifically, looking at the footage that I definitely want to use and just use that. Because um, one of the things I do like is having it all there. So if I do see something that will blend well with another bit of footage, then, you know, I've got that option. Whereas now... I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Um, it's just about upload speeds. EE, -E, I've got three bars. Um, um, Vodafone, I've only got two bars. And Vodafone was the one that I was really relying on. Um, and um, I've got an aerial, an external aerial for my net. So I've got a router and um, that I do the... Uh, that it's plugged in so I can hardwire it to my computer but um, the aerial that I've got I don't think it's any good I don't think it's doing anything other than what the router router's aerial itself has already got on it built within it so yeah I'm just gonna have to I mean today was all about uploading so I know that I knew it was going to take a long time I just didn't realize it was going to take this long so if anybody's got any any hints or tips then that would be massively appreciated. Um, I'll speak to you all. Go I'll speak to you all later on. <laughs> hey folks! Oh, look at the sun in my face. Uh, I just want to show you. I don't know if you can see it. Um, there's a mushroom up there. Look. Can you see it? There's a mushroom. We found loads of other mushrooms as well. I'm gonna keep walking down it's so sunny um probably won't stay like this for long though <laughs> let me show you these other mushrooms 
Hey, uh, I just thought that I would um, just let you know what I've just been up to. Uh, Marvin and I went out for a walk. We found this little path uh, that took you onto this trail and we were going along and it was really nice. There was a couple of bridges, little footpath bridges that you can go across and it will take you through this wooded area that was just so beautiful. And then I don't know what happened, but... For some strange reason, I ended up going um, through this 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 gate. Uh, it's like a little V-shape and you squeeze yourself through it. And I got through it. And the next minute, it was just pitch black. Pitch black. And then it started to rain. So I got my map out and it said to go on this um, walkabout creek path. So I'm trying to find this path. And um, I can hear a road, so I thought, right, OK, because obviously you know what my look is like already. My GPS wasn't working, so I'm getting really wet. Marvin's getting really wet and it's it's pitch black. I've got about 25 percent battery left on my phone and um, I find the road, get my GPS and it says 45 minutes back round the roadway or 28 minutes following this walkabout creek. And I thought, OK, I'll double back on myself. Not a problem. Well, <laughs> no, <laughs> there was a problem. Um, there was no path. I went uh, I went round one way, then it started getting really slopy. And of course, I've not got the right shoes on. I've got my grey joggers, which are now black. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to wash them. Um, in the end, it took me about 45 minutes to get back. Marvin, bless her, she's fast asleep, all snuggled up in a towel um, I'm just drying off and I'm just writing out my notes in this journal that I got given to me by my lovely friend Sarah my my old neighbor and it says on it don't do not go where the path may lead go instead where there is no path and leave a trail uh, <laughs> <laughs> this may work during the day, but at night time, definitely not. Um, <laughs> everything looks the same at night. I've got my torch on, trying to find something, slipping over. And normally I don't like it when Marvin pulls on the lead, but actually this time she had to literally pull me because I had no grip on my shoes. I couldn't get up the hill. Um, but yeah, we're back now, just drying off. My hair's going all frizzy. But yeah, interesting day. Never a dull moment, is it? <laughs> oh my God. Um, we're going to have to start putting bets on what's going to happen in the next 24 hours. <laughs> hey, all. Um, <laughs> what day are we on? I think it's day six. It's day six today. And uh, yeah, I got news. So <laughs> I was opening up my skylight because I'm cooking some rice and I thought, you know, I just don't want to get uh, any condensation in. So I thought I'd open my skylight and look, my arm has broken. <laughs> Good God. Okay, so what I've got is I've got the, I've got the original arm here. It was snapped part of this plastic bit that goes through this hole so now I've removed that what I've got is <laughs> honestly I've got a very long long screw can't go wrong with a good screw and I'm gonna screw it in to there's a bit here where it was broken let me move it up so you can see I'm going to get some, some PU18 glue. I'm going to screw it in there whilst it's there and then let it set. And hopefully I will fix my skylight. Not what I needed today because today obviously I'm editing three videos because it took over 12 hours to upload. So yeah, interesting day. Day six. I wonder what's going to happen tomorrow. Hmm, watch this space. <laughs> hey folks, it's day seven. It's in the evening. And the reason why I thought I would do it in the evening um, to do this video is that means I've got the whole day 
for something dramatic, dangerous, drastic to happen. And surprisingly, at the moment, nothing bad has happened. Hooray! <laughs> This week has just been absolutely mental. I'm putting all these snippets of videos into a weekly video vlog and um, then I'm going to do a little summary. I think I'll do the summary tomorrow to add to it. <laughs> it's just been one thing after another after another. I haven't left this campsite yet since being stuck so I might be moulded into the ground but I'm going to be leaving tomorrow to get to my new place, uh, my new pub and I can't wait. I am going to produce a list for everybody so you can see where I'm going. I'm just a little bit dubious about safety, about my safety. Um, so, you know, I will have to figure out something on what I can do to ensure that, um, yeah, that, that, that it's fine. But, uh, it, it, gosh, what a week I've had. My first week of touring, seven days, and this is what happens. <laughs> See you next week. Tune in next week for week two, and don't forget to subscribe.